All right, it's Indian Wells time. Scott and I are in the car headed out for a road trip. It's a little after 5.30 in the morning and we should be arriving there about 10 o'clock, maybe a little sooner, or if we stop for Starbucks, maybe a little bit later. But Scott is ready with his caffeine to take us there. What are you most excited about for Indian Wells this year? Um, just excited to be able to see um, a lot of the players playing, be able to walk around all the different courts, watch all different types of matches, the ladies, the men, the doubles, singles, and just to enjoy a nice atmosphere. And, uh, but pretty much just to watch some great tennis. All right, well, soon we'll be there and show you guys some more. There's not a lot of interesting things between Las Vegas and Indian Wells, but there is the Kelso Train Depot. So I got to see a train going by, and here is also the historic buildings um, of the Train Depot here. You can still go inside at times, but mostly it's a bathroom stop. We've arrived. So we're in the parking lot at Indian Wells. Fortunately, it's a very easy to park venue. A little hard to get in here, but once you're in, it's nice and easy, and they actually made it free this year. Last year, parking was $25, so we're on our walk now. It's a pretty nice walk over there. We'll show you more. We're just through security. It's a clear bag policy here, but they're nice and easy. You can come through with empty water bottles or sealed water bottles. And we are entering Tennis Paradise. It's so beautiful here, and you'll see why as we keep going. First stop, hydration station. They're all throughout the stadium. And super important, it's pretty hot out here, so we want to fill it up and stay hydrated. Yeah. And then we also want to make sure and reapply our sunscreen a lot. This backpack is going on and off my shoulder constantly, so I need to keep the sunscreen going. One of the really fun things about getting here early is you can watch warm-ups. Um, so we're right by the Alcara practice court for his warm-ups. And normally you can kind of get a great seat and be like 20 feet away from the players, but it's Algarath. He's like ranked number one right now. So we're in a standing room only section, but we're still like not that many feet away. One of the really fun things about coming early to this tournament is on the early days, you basically buy tickets for Stadium 1 or 2, and you can hop around to the other stadiums. So currently we have Stadium 1 tickets, but we're sitting in Stadium 4, and it's really cool. We're in the very front row because there's not a lot of people in these smaller stadiums in the early days. So we are going to be watching Para and Bronzetti, and then hopping over to see some other players soon. So we're out of Stadium where we watched our first little matchup, stayed for five games. And now we're wandering through the village to get to the food. The shade feels amazing because it is hot and sunny out here. So we're gonna make our first food stop at Melissa's Market for acai bowls. Great way to keep healthy while we're out here. But there's a ton of food choices from fine dining through quick pickup type foods. So we'll share several of them with you while we're here. So the acai bowl was a little disappointing. It's like two dollops of acai mix with the fruit, but that's Scott's. I got the Italian veggie wrap, which looks much nicer. All right, back to tennis. All right, we're in stadium five to watch the tail end of the Riedel Draper match. And um, you can get a better vantage here and see it's an intimate setting in these smaller courts, but it's a great view from any of the seats. We've moved on to Stadium One. We're at our official seat. You can see we're way higher here, but it's still great. We're pretty much center court away from the judge, so we can see everything. It's a great view. And currently, we're watching Collins versus Galfi. It's hard to keep track of all these players, but it's been amazing so far. Love the day. So beautiful here. Mountains. We have closer mountains without snow on them, the palm trees. And you'll see as we walk through the complex, there's beautiful plant life all around. So it's just a gorgeous place to be, and it's about 80 degrees today. So couldn't ask for anything better. So the weather here is totally beautiful, but I am not a good tanner. I just kind of burn most of the time, so. I've applied a lot of sunscreen today, but I also brought a small blanket that I can throw over my shoulders, and then at night I 
can wrap around my legs when I get cold and I have a jacket with me as well. All right, Scott's enjoying a smoked chicken sandwich from the Q Barbecue. How is it? It's really good. It's a little pricey. Everything but it, here is a good, little pricey. But when you're at Indian Wells, and you're at the tennis tournament, it's gonna, it's gonna be pricey. At so. least it's a reasonable size though. It's not like two dollars of off site. But it's good though. Good. All right, on to more tennis. So this is super exciting. It's a good break from match play to watch my favorite player, Stefano Sitsipas, warm up. Yay! He plays tomorrow, so hopefully we see him do great and keep on moving forward. Yeah. A lot of people will watch on the big screens out here on the grass if they don't have tickets to the stadium they want to go to. And it's just a nice chill area to watch on the lawn. All right, the night has arrived. It's been a fun day out here so far and there's still a lot of tennis to go. Um, it's now after 6. We've been here since right after the gates opened at 10. And we're waiting to watch Fritz and Paul play doubles um, against Evans and Pierce. Can't really read that far. But it should be a really fun match. We were here almost a full match early and it was already getting crowded and there was just lines for hundreds of yards probably. So lots of people are going to be disappointed that they don't get to see. What we've learned today is that even though you can hop around, it's hard to hop around after the morning because it's really, really crowded. So definitely find where you want to be and get there early in order to see things. So it's been lots and lots of fun. We had some pizza and it was delicious and really hit the spot. And now we're here just to chill and wrap up in our blankets because it's starting to get cold. So this is a new experience. We normally get here early, but today we arrived about five minutes before play started. And this is the queue just to get through the pedestrian gate to get to security. So yeah, it's a it's gonna be a wait this morning. Hopefully that's not what we're experiencing the whole day. It's getting to enjoy watching his favorite player and these Martins practice for double. Alright, so play was suspended for a rain delay. Um, a little surprising at Indian Wells because it is tennis paradise, but we just took a little trip away from the arena and we do have a rainbow behind us, so kind of fun. We're getting ready to head back in and hopefully play will resume soon. The rain de delay is great for those of us who are willing to persevere because it's pretty much wide open for seats right now. So these guys are hard at work getting the courts ready for a play again. We've got about 30, 45 more minutes until hopefully we'll be back seeing some action. But for now, just chilling. All right, nobody's in the stands because they're all in the Moe and Shenzhen tent. This is a good place to kill some time until the play is ready to resume. I'll share my drink with you soon. All right, cheers. This is definitely gonna make my way go a little bit faster. And so I found the party. We did have some grease here at the end to fuel us through. We had some onion rings and fries from Lionel's Fountain. Pretty tasty, but not exactly on the diet. More tomorrow. Okay, so we've arrived for our third day. This is the first Saturday of Indian Wells, and we stumbled upon an overflow lot that took us to the north entrance, which was fantastic. No lines, we're parked in the very front, and they actually let us in 15 minutes before gates were supposed to open. So pretty awesome. And we got these nice hats free at the gate today. Ready for another fun day and hopefully no rain. All right, weekend two is a whole different game. You can see these blue lines that I'm walking past here. They just go on and on and on forever. And then the green area is right behind me. 
you can see it's just completely packed. Yeah. It's like walking so. through Disneyland here, but more crowded. And mostly adults. So that's the upside. Alright, back to tennis. Career titles, All including right, one so right here at the BNP Paramount Open in 2021. Sort of in Grand Slam play, she's had her best that's result at Roland Garros, where she reached the quarterfinals in 2021. Wow. And she's made three other major fourth round appearances, twice at Wimbledon and once at the Australian Open last year. So there's always some sort of fun nighttime entertainment. Two minutes. Your champion here tonight is Yvette Khan. This reality show is actually super cool. But they're like flying in this formation. Way impressed. Oh, now I get it into the mountains and the sun rising over the mountains. Super cool. I've never seen a drone show before, but Indian World brings new adventures every time. So, this is the first Saturday night's entertainment after the first night match. I wonder if it's going to change colors as the sun sets. That'd be kind of cool. There's some that are actually set, so let's see what we're doing now. Oh, it's a palm tree. It's great. a bunch of palm trees. Are we doing 49 palms? No, um, not 29. Oh wow, this is better than last night's fireworks. The pretend fireworks. The pretend fireworks are better than the real ones. Alright. Uh, they just did a tribute to last year's winners. And I don't know why Carlos, but I guess these are also the pants. But are y'all? Interesting. Well, that's fine. It's hard to watch the tennis when this is going on. I guess it's a tennis ball. So when you leave tennis at 10 p.m. in these little towns, there's nothing open to get dinner. So we are at the Balms getting some fine dining. At least they're open, but Rubio's sadly was not. Day four for us is here. It's the first Sunday of play and the fatigue is definitely setting in. We're here like close to 12 hours a day and it just is exhausting being on the sun that long. Maybe five days in a row is not the move the next time. Um, but we're still having lots of fun. Today we were here extra early. The gates were open before 9.15 when we came through. And we're kind of camping out on the court where we want to be for the third batch of the day to see Elise Mertens and Storm Hunter play in doubles. And today's giveaway was these Fila fans, which is good because it's going to be really hot out today. So we'll be able to keep ourselves cool and keep our sun layers on so we don't burn. This is fun, we're like 20 feet back to him to leave while he warms up. We can be here early and often. So under the TV on the lawn, they've got the whole bracket lined up here. So that's pretty fun if you want to see who's going to be playing later in the day. You can look there and see who's still in and who's out. Then we've got the big TV screen giving us some morning affirmation. Good morning. So one of the cool things they do here is for every ace, two trees get planted. So the other way that they can make that happen is anyone who hashtags aces for trees can also cause two trees to be planted. So good things happening. Thank you to BNP Paribas for caring about the environment. All right, it's back at our time on Sunday night. It's been a busy, busy day here at Indian Wells. We only had five points of 
play today, which means you have to pick well. Just hang out for a long time. But now it's in and out. There's like actually hardly any lines for food, which makes me really happy because it's time for some dinner. We're 10 hours into our day four, and it's a pretty thin crowd tonight. Some great tennis. But because we've been here for a long time, we probably have three more hours to go. I decided it was happy hour. Try not to drink out here in the sunshine in the day. So I have to wait till the sun sets before any alcohol crosses my lips because I do not want to get a headache with Ilya. But this one is a treat. I love me some Palomas and it's pretty good tequila. It's still back. Food lines are much more pleasant on Monday. I'm making a repeat visit to Chef Tanya's Eating Deli. I had a sandwich here, it was pretty amazing. And Scott had his tacos from next door yesterday and enjoyed those as well. But man, these vegan sandwiches are the way to go. They're enormous and probably the best food value of any place I've tried here. We're back at Tennis Paradise. So we've been gone for three days and I'm actually so excited to be back. Surprisingly, after being here for five days last weekend, I still wanna be here. It's pretty dead here so far. Tennis is about to start, but it's semi-finals day. I think a lot of people are holding out for the finals weekend. There's gonna be some amazing tennis today though, so I can't wait. And it's St. Patrick's Day, so I'm rocking my green hat. All right, I'm pretty excited. I've waited all week for ice cream at Handel's Ice Cream Bar, and here we go. This is actually Scott's. I have an ice cream sandwich waiting for me in my bag here. Can't wait. It's a wonderful treat for a hot day. Since we're in finals weekend, they are clearing the stadium between sessions, so we're between the day and the night session now. It's beautiful out here. Just enjoying the pre-sunset cloudy sky, and not too much longer, maybe 20 more minutes before we get to head back in to watch some more awesome tennis. We're four weeks in to the getting healthier journey. And I've been traveling the last several days, so it has been a different approach. No skill telling me I'm doing well or not. It's just about making the better choices. So today I had some ice cream, but I also said no to a lot of other foods that I could have taken advantage of that would not have been healthy choices. So it's all about the balance. And one of the things I'm really focusing on in is activity. I have started doing the Conqueror Challenges app, which allows you to load in your activity and take part in a virtual journey. So right now I'm doing the Camino de Santiago in Spain, even though I'm currently in California. It's pretty fun. You can actually see the street views of where you are and reach goals while also doing good. With the money you contribute, you get to either plant trees or have water bottles pulled from the ocean. And at the end, you still get a medal. So next up for me will be Transylvania. What kind of activities do you do that help you keep motivated to be healthier? Hope to hear from you. Final day is here at Indian Wells and it was free hat day. If this hat already looks familiar, it's because I have one exactly the same from last year. Next year in Indian Wells, I vote that we go with orange or anything that's a different color so that we can get a variety. But I really do love this green hat and I am super excited for some finals action. It's so good. My personal favorites are the chai tea latte ice, which is with oat milk and the organic sugar, and the modern hippie veggie. It is so delicious and huge. Back in like 11 and a half months. Yeah. 